introducing Gaze Help, an Adobe Photoshop plugin for gaze-assisted interaction. This project started out with quite a general, technology-driven research question. How can gaze interaction support current graphic design activities? There has been substantial work into gaze-assisted drawing systems, but so far they've been shown through custom-built toy systems, which, although they're effective to showcase ideas, they are unlikely to see widespread use as is. Gaze Help, however, builds on these ideas and integrates into a flagship design suite, Adobe Photoshop, used by over 90% of the world's creative professionals. So why gaze? Gaze movement is extremely fast, allowing for quick control and selections, especially across large displays. And because we're already using our eyes to look at elements, capturing this provides a no-effort stream of data that can be harnessed for novel interactions. These key benefits can be brought into new multimodal interactions in Adobe Photoshop. So why Photoshop? In short, it has high impact with a massive number of users. The tools are there to build it, with Photoshop already providing developer tools to create plugins and extensions for automating basic photo editing. And importantly, it hasn't been done before. Photoshop doesn't currently utilize any novel interaction technologies. After extensive ideation and mockups, three main features were chosen and developed for Gaze Help. Quick Tool, X-Ray, and Privacy Shield. To illustrate with an example, see the landscape imagery I've been working on. My gaze point is denoted with the floating bubble. I've been using the select tool, but would like to switch to a brush to keep working over here. With quick tool, I can glance down to the trigger, press down the spacebar, and glance at the brush tool and release the spacebar. Now the tool has been changed to brush. It's also completely customizable in the settings panel, with any combination of the basic tools and full pop-up location changing and resizing. This utilizes the speed of the gaze modality to select, and also means that the user doesn't have to move the mouse to change tools. It uses large buttons for accurate selection, as well as the spacebar press and release method to avoid the minus touch problem of accidental selection. Changing to the X-ray feature, I've been working on the forest section, but would like to see its coloring under the tree, and maybe sample it for use elsewhere in the image. After selecting the layer I'd like to X-ray down to, I can click and hold the activation button and look at the area I'd like to see more at. I release the button, and the plugin creates a non-destructive circular window down to that selected layer, so I can directly see it. The diameter can also be quickly changed with the slider, and shifted to a new position as required. I can now see that layers change in context, edit there, or sample the colour if I'd like. This harnesses the natural fit of gaze to controlling viewing areas. I was already instinctively looking at the area, and so it provides an intuitive, quick, and novel interaction. Thirdly, privacy shield. Let's say I'm not particularly proud of the image, and would like to hide it from people when I'm not actively working on it. If I look away, say to respond to a coworker, Privacy Shield will black out my entire image, and then return when I look back again. This exploits Gaze's ability to detect attention in a practical fashion. The final contribution is the accompanying Gaze Help server program, which runs concurrently to communicate between the Toby Eye Tracker and the Gaze Help plugin, complete with a GUI. It is entirely separate to the plugin, and so any developer can use it as is to create their own gaze-assisted plugin or program. Each of the features of Gaze Help apply the unique strengths of the gaze input modality, bringing them into a powerful flagship design suite to be used by designers around the world.